ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 21st of November, getting set to sail into the pre-Thanksgiving weekend. And cold is the word today. A new supply of cold air. Going to make it pretty brisk out. Let's go to some Skycam shots around the network early this morning at the somewhat ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. There's a look at the uh, Clanton City Hall. It's clear. It's windy. It's cold. In the uh, Birmingham Metro, there's the Inverness camera overlooking uh, U.S. Highway 280. Uh, they're sitting at 31 at 5 o'clock in uh, downtown Birmingham. Also uh, sitting around 30, 29 degrees, something like that. Uh, the sky clear. It's breezy, and uh, it's going to be a cold day. Water vapor satellite shot. The trough is sharpening up again over the east. And, uh, again, it's going to be a sunny day, but a cold day. Let's look at the numbers. And, uh, wow, it's cold for November. See a couple of minus 13s up there in uh, uh, Manitoba in Canada. Got single digits down to Des Moines, Iowa. Teens all the way down into uh, Oklahoma. And uh, we'll see a high only in the uh, mid-40s today, and that might be optimistic. Uh, some folks up near the Tennessee border might struggle to reach 40 today. And, uh, you know, we actually saw some snow flurries down into Tennessee in the northeastern corner of Alabama early this morning. But the sky around here will be clear today. This is the expected rain for the next five days. The QPF graphic, this is valid through Tuesday evening of next week. And this is uh, suggesting rainfall amounts of about a quarter inch, and I think that's right on it. Uh, uh, with that front Monday, that will be the day where a few showers are likely. No uh, real heavy rain, no thunderstorms, just few showers around. And we need that. Uh, we've got a rain deficiency of about one inch now for Birmingham for the year after having a surplus of, what, five inches about a month ago. Well, there's the uh, GFS valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. And uh, you can see that uh, we've got the trough over the east down below that cold air advection. The uh, 540 thickness line down to Birmingham. And we talked about sunny and cold today. Tomorrow, the high is on top of us, so we think the bottom could drop out tomorrow morning. Most spots with a low somewhere between 20 and 25. Colder valleys in the teens. And again, this is November, you know. We're not even close to the arrival of winter. That's still over a month away. Uh, Sunday, we'll start to warm up. We think we'll be close to 60 by Sunday afternoon. And then Monday of next week, here comes that front with a few rain showers likely. So uh, we'll be wet at times Monday. And then Tuesday, it's gone. Uh, there will be some cool air moving in behind the front, but not as cold as the air we have now. So we think Tuesday highs probably mid to upper 50s, maybe around 60. And uh, Wednesday of next week, once again, this is the day before Thanksgiving in case you're traveling. There are no major storms, but having said that, the northeast will be cold and a little snowy up there. No big deal for them. They'll see some uh, light snow with that surface low showing up. Over uh, New England, uh, New York, and uh, Boston could see some light snow, and it's going to be awfully cold up there for Thanksgiving. It's been awfully cold up there. And out west, uh, some scattered areas of precipitation out there, but certainly no major storm. There's a look at Thanksgiving Day. We'll be in great shape. We think Alabama's sunny with highs up in the low 60s. And, yeah, we see that new storm coming out of New Mexico. Looks like uh, showers and thunderstorms could break out over Texas and Oklahoma. And the day after Thanksgiving... That impacts Alabama with a chance of showers and maybe a storm. This is not a uh, very dynamic event as we've seen. And understand, every run out here looks different. If you watch this extreme video, you've seen everything from big snowstorms to severe weather looks to hardly anything. This is still suggesting a chance of showers and maybe some thunder on Friday. And then Saturday the 29th, the, look at the big cutoff there near San Diego. But around here, the trough sharpens and... Uh, the air would be much colder if this is right on Saturday the 29th. And, yeah, enough moisture for maybe a few snow flurries. Wouldn't that be something, a little bit of snow flurry action for the Alabama-Auburn game in Tuscaloosa that day? But, again, we're not comfortable yet making a forecast. You know, we've seen looks that, that showed rain and storms. Now it looks cold and, and flurries. But remember, we are getting closer and closer. So with each passing day, the confidence gets higher. And the idea on the table now is that it rains on the Friday after Thanksgiving and it turns sharply colder on this day, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. 
And then on uh, Sunday the 30th, uh, instead of a big severe weather look, now there's just dry and cool air in here with no rain at all. And then on the 1st of December, that's a cold and dry look with a northwest flow aloft. And again, down below that, looks relatively uneventful. Five days later, December 5th, again, we've seen all kind of looks out here. Now we've got this cold trough over the east and uh, down below that very cold air. And that little ripple coming through the Gulf of Mexico, you can see potential for some mischief there. But understand this is 15 to 16 days out there, and there's just no way we can be specific. We are just looking for trends. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Wait, wait, wait.